Anyone spending some time in the sun this summer? Consider this image before you leave the sunblock behind. These are 59-year-old identical twin sisters. Dr. Mitchell Schwartz is head dermatologist of Dorset Street Dermatology in South Burlington. He's also an expert in cosmetic surgery. One of them has had quite a bit more sun exposure and is a smoker. He shows us the signs of early aging on the twin on the right who didn't protect herself from the sun. The texture of the skin is much worse, much rougher. Now, it's proven that sunlight is a great source of vitamin D. It's part of a healthy diet. It helps boost your immune system, and it also eases depression. But if you're looking to up your vitamin D levels in a tanning bed, Dr. Schwartz says think again. Most tanning beds like these use ultraviolet A wavelengths, when ultraviolet B is what actually gives your body vitamin D. So they're claiming to go tanning, and they're not even giving you the wavelength of ultraviolet light that's been shown to be using the conversion to the active form of vitamin D. Dr. Schwartz says it is important to check for irregular moles like these. We recommend that once a month everyone does a full skin examination using a long mirror and searching carefully in every nook and cranny of the body. Here are some things to look out for. Irregular borders, color, maybe if it has a black or white area, diameter, something that's bigger than a pencil eraser. Also, if the mole is changing. If you find any of these, it's recommended you consult your doctor.